Hey everyone, thanks for checking the video out. This is going to continue our series on RNA envelope viruses. And today's video is going to be about rhabdovirus and retrovirus. So these are all of the RNA envelope viruses right here. We've done previous videos on these three, so if you haven't seen those, go check them out. Uh, so we're going to get started on rhabdovirus. Okay, rhabdovirus causes rabies. And that's an easy one to remember because it's almost in the name and it sounds like rabies. So rhabdo, we'll just think of, think of it as rabies virus. As far as histology is concerned, it has these unique things called Negri bodies. And so anytime you see a to any, anything about Negri bodies, we're going to think about rabies and rhabdovirus. It affects warm-blooded animals. And that's the reason for human dog infections. It is a bullet shaped virus transmit, transmitted by the bite of a rabid animal. So to remember that it's bullet shaped, we're gonna think that you should shoot rabid animals with a bullet. Okay, so that's it for rhabdovirus. So the rest of the lecture will be about retrovirus. So, uh, you know, this, this virus is, of course, tested on quite a bit, so there's a fair amount that we need to know about it. So, retrovirus refers to the enzyme reverse transcriptase, an RNA-dependent DNA polymerase. So, reverse transcriptase transcribes RNA to DNA during the process of viral nucleic acid synthesis, and Reverse transcriptase is unique to RNA tumor viruses. There's three groups. As a note here, um, I'll, I just put in here that retroviruses were previously divided in, into these three families. Now it's just two, but this classification still persists, so I would definitely know it as uh, this classification. So when we think of retrovirus, we're going to think of three groups, oncovirus group, the lentivirus group, and the sp spumavirus group. So um, I've got a couple slides coming up that detail each one of these. I'm really only going to focus on these first two because you don't really see spumavirus come up too frequently. So we'll just focus on these first two. Okay, so oncovirus group, also known as HTLV, that stands for human T lymphocytic virus or human T cell virus. You know, sometimes questions are as easy as that, just being able to associate HTLV with the correct group, with oncovirus or lentivirus. You now, I should go back here. The, the most frequent type of question you get is differentiating oncovirus from lentivirus. You know, they each have their own characteristics, and usually the question will ask something about um, a characteristic and you'll have to choose which group it is associated with or it'll ask about the group and you just have to know one of the qualities of that group. Okay so oncovirus group also known as HTLV. Uh, so what is an oncovirus? It's a virus that causes cancer and HTLV is a type of oncovirus that's a retrovirus that causes a human T cell cancer. Produces things like leukemias, lymphomas, breast, sar car breast carcinomas, and sarcomas. There's four types of HTLV, and they're characterized by number. So you've got HTLV1, HTLV2, HTLV3, and 4. And HTLV3 was formerly known as HIV. Um, it's not anymore, though. It's no longer characterized as HTLV3, but I have seen this in the study materials and practice questions. Lentivirus. Um, the most frequent question that comes out of this is uh, HIV is associated with which group? So HIV is a lentivirus. Like I put here, common topic. It frequently comes up. Um, these viruses infect and kill helper T cells, CD4 cells, 